All right, you guys, I finally did it. I did what you guys asked and I bought crystals off of wish.com and I am really anxious to see if I regret this decision because I spent over a hundred dollars on crystals from Wish and I have not opened them at all. So here are the bag of crystals that I picked up from wish.com. They took about a month to get here as per usual with Wish. I am super anxious <laughs> to see what kind of quality we got, if they're broken, if they're fake. So let's get into it. So the first thing I ordered was this set of crystals crystals. This actually came from Amazon, you guys. So the fact that it came from Amazon makes me think that this seller is also on Wish. This arrived a few days after I ordered it in an Amazon bubble wrap and it said it was a gift and I was like, who sent me a gift? So this was the crystal set I ordered off of Wish. I have looked at this one. It's not great. <laughs> So here's what the set looks like. And here's how the crystals come inside. So you get a set of five crystals in this little plastic bag. So here are the five crystals you get. Let's go through them one by one. I definitely have some feedback. So this is the first tower. It's a rose quartz tower. And you can see right there that it is broken on the tip. And this is interesting because this tower has many sides. Usually most towers have four sides or six sides. So all these towers have nine sides so that makes them more expensive to carve. I would say this is like mediocre quality. It's not bad, it's not great. So that's the first one, the rose quartz. Next is the tiger's eye. You can see it does have some nice lash. I'd say overall this one's decent. The quality is pretty okay. It's not fake, it's genuine tiger's eye. So I would say this one's okay. So this is the next one. This one is obsidian and you can see these white marks on it. That is actually the golden sheen coming through. So this is a golden sheen obsidian tower. Again, this one's average, mediocre quality, nothing outstanding, has the nine sides to the carving, but pretty average. Now the next two crystals are where the quality starts to go downhill. So here we have a clear quartz tower and you can tell this is not very clear at all. It's pretty cloudy. There's a lot of inclusions on it. There's a lot of dirt on it from it not being polished very well. It's just a low quality clear quartz. It's probably one of the lowest quality clear quartz I've ever seen. Just not good quality at all. And then we have the fluorite. This again, really not good quality. If you guys can see the green markings on there, that is actually the polishing material on the crystal. So they left the polishing material all over this crystal. They didn't wash it after it was polished. The quality is just not good. You can just tell. The color is nice and deep, but this area, particularly right here, not good quality. I would say overall, I would give this one like a two out of 10. Bad quality, bad carvings, just not good. Another reason why you should never buy crystals on Amazon or Wish. So let's see what else we got. So the next crystal I got is this little selenite satin spar wand with wire wrapped crystal chips on it. It's actually really beautiful and dainty. Let me show you guys what this one looks like up close. So here's the little selenite stick. This is actually very pretty and very well done. I personally really like this. I could totally see myself carrying something like this in my shop. And good news, all of the crystals on here are authentic. None of them are glass or man-made. And the quality is pretty okay. I mean, they're chips, so it's really hard to determine the quality per se, but overall the quality is okay. So on here we have clear quartz, amethyst, sodalite, green aventurine, tiger's eye, orange aventurine. And then the last one is red jasper. So overall I would rate this one like a nine out of 10. I actually really like this. So the next thing I ordered were these three chip bags and I wanted to get some more expensive, easily faked crystal. So I ordered citrine, aquamarine, and moss agate to see if any of these were fake, heat treated, plastic, any of that. Let's look at each of these one by one to see what kind of quality they are. So first up is the aquamarine. And you guys, this is genuine aquamarine. I can just tell by the quality in there. It is genuine. Some better quality than others. The lighter quality is the lower quality. The darker quality is the higher quality, but overall, this is all genuine 
crystals. So this is a little ironic. In the bag we have a little piece of amethyst right here and if you guys don't know, I think most of you do, that citrine is often faked by heat treating amethyst and I think Wish gave themselves away because they put a little bit of amethyst in here. So you can see the amethyst, you can see the heat treated citrine in there. This is not unfortunately genuine citrine. You can tell by the white colors. The pieces are really small though so it's hard to know 100% it's not. But I think the little amethyst chip in there is a dead giveaway that this is just heat treated citrine. And then we have the moss agate. You get quite a few less pieces and these are more like mini tumbles or mini spheres. I did take a peek at these. All of these are 100% genuine. They are pretty decent quality, nothing outstanding. Like this one, it just looks like agate. So I mean, nothing to call home about, but I would say these are all genuine. So I would give these maybe a six out of 10. The aquamarine obviously is genuine. The moss agate is genuine. The citrine is heat treated citrine. So still a cute idea. You get the little bag if you guys are looking for a cheap way to get chip it's not too bad so this is the next thing I bought I honestly don't remember what I ordered because I ordered these over a month and a half ago because it takes that long to get here so let's see what's in this mystery little bag so I remember what this was this was in fact a mystery bag so that's why it came like that duh so let me show you what I got in the mystery bag so the first crystal I got is a teeny tiny little obsidian and it comes with a little wood stand like how cute is that so you get a little stand and a teeny tiny obsidian sphere so the one thing I will say about obsidian is obsidian is volcanic glass so it's really hard to know if this is just colored glass or if it's authentic obsidian this is just across the board but obsidian is readily available so it seems silly to fake it with glass but from what I can tell this is genuine obsidian but again obsidian is just volcanic glass and glass is just glass so there's not much of a difference between the two so the next thing that came in this this little mystery box is some labradorite chips and they are teeny teeny tiny little chips. They're so small that they're almost like a choking hazard which is that's what I always think about when I get crystals this small even though I don't have kids still makes me think they're a choking hazard. So here are what the little labradorite chips look like. You can see there is some blue flash in there which is kind of fun. Here is what the back side looks like. So you do get some flash so not too bad um, but yeah just a little mini mini chip bag. And the next thing you get is this mini bag of teeny tiny crystals. So that is what it looks like. It's just an assortment of random crystals. So let's go ahead and open this on up. So we got two labradorite pieces. This mini heart has some pretty good flash. This one doesn't have very much flesh though. You guys, these are so small. These are little fluorite like cubes. A little lapis chunk mini amethyst cluster, two raw pieces of smoky, two clear quartz points. So super teeny tiny pieces. You could almost lose them or choke on them, but still you get a pretty good variety. They're all very, very tiny. And the quality I would say is meh, not amazing, not terrible, but just mediocre. Then we get one more item that is a mystery item. So the last item in the mystery bag is a pretty cute labradorite tower with some good flash. So that is what the labradorite tower looks like and you can see there is some pretty good flash on here this is definitely like a pretty small tower but I mean I don't think this is that bad at all like this is a pretty nice piece so I think this is the best one out of the entire set. So for that mystery bag, I would say overall I'd maybe give it like a five out of 10. The Labradorite Tower was definitely the best, but the other stuff was super tiny and just kind of mediocre, so five out of 10. So this is the next thing. So we have another mystery box, so let's go ahead and open it up. This is quite a small package for how large that envelope was. So this... <laughs> Okay, this looks to be a little mini chakra set. These are the towers you get. They are like so small that they're almost not even there. I swear in the picture, which I will put all the listings up so you can see what the original photos look like. I swear they were like bigger than this, not like an inch tall. For size and scale, they're super tiny. Okay, they're like so small, I'm struggling to like even hold them. The good news is they're all real crystals. So we have Amethyst, a Orange Aventurine, Red Jasper, Lapis Lazuli, Green Aventurine, Clear Quartz, and 
this may be yellow jade or yellow adventuring but i mean they're all real and they're all in the right chakra colors and none of them are dyed so that's a good sign and then these are the tumble stones it comes with same materials as the other ones but super teeny tiny you can see the size of my fingernail and the size of these tumbles they are pretty small so unless <laughs> You're making like a super teeny tiny chakra setup. These are way too small in my opinion. So overall for the chakra set, if you guys love mini crystals, I would rate this an 8 out of 10. If you wanted actually substantially sized crystals, I'd rank this like a 2 out of 10. Because they are so small, you will literally lose them or choke on them. So next we have a pretty big box that is like taped super tight. So I might have to get a knife. So the next thing I got was a smoky quartz tower. The quality is very not the best. It's okay. This is what the Smoky Quartz Tower looks like up close. You can see it's pretty cloudy. There's just not a lot of clearness. Like you can not see me through the crystal, which the more clear the crystal, the higher the quality. So there's just a lot of cloudiness in here. This 100% is an authentic crystal. So if you don't much care about quality, this is a great item. I personally like to get my smoky quartz from Brazil and this may be from Brazil. Um, it's carved in China because you can tell about the shape. Um, Brazilian carvings tend to have a little bit of a different shape, but the quality is just not the best. But this is a real crystal. And then I did go ahead and order one of those bigger towers. This was probably the more expensive item. So I'm curious to see if the quality is not great, most likely, but let's open it on up. So this is wrapped in all styrofoam, so it's probably not broken, but it's a pain in the butt to open. So this is interesting. It looks like they like cut out a little perfect shape for the rose quartz tower. So let's go ahead and reveal it. There it is. So here we are with the Rose Quartz Tower. Now it is a beautiful piece of Rose Quartz. However, the quality, not great. Um, yeah, let me show you guys what it looks like up close so you can see for yourselves. Okay, so it looks pretty standard however you'll notice a lot of white right here and that indicates lower quality obviously you want a deeper rose quartz so down here the quality is much better than this big white band so you see this big white band right here that indicates a little bit of lower quality whereas the deeper darker color is the better quality so Overall, 50% of this crystal is decent quality and 50% is meh. You will also see that there is quite a lot of yellowing right here. Just not great. This could be iron. It could be, you know, a bunch of different types of minerals in the rose quartz there. There's a ding right here. Sorry, I'm standing a little bit closer so I can see what you guys are seeing. All these cracks are natural cracks. They're polished and you can't feel them. So that's nothing that affects the quality per se say but just overall it's just a lower quality rose quartz. you can see there's a little divot right there where it wasn't fully polished again i would say if you don't terribly care about quality this isn't a bad crystal it's okay it'll get the job done <laughs> but it is a little bit expensive for the quality and the size i mean this is a pretty big size crystal it's almost the size of my face so again it's not bad i personally wouldn't carry this type of rose quartz in my shop i personally wouldn't carry any of the qualities of any of the crystals i've bought today in my shop except for that selenite stick that i showed earlier so the quality on that rose quartz is not great maybe i would give it a four out of ten i think what happens on wish is the suppliers probably do have good quality but no one's interested in buying them therefore when you buy a crystal off of wish they're going to send you the lower quality not so perfect looking crystals because they are random when you buy them you're buying off a singular photo so i think again when you're buying on wish you most likely will get an authentic crystal with the exceptions of those that are commonly faked like citrine malachite the smelting quartz like those you'll often probably will get a fake because those are more expensive hard to come by crystals but i would say in general if you're buying crystals off wish you will get the lower quality not as well carved potentially broken pieces for the amount of money you're paying and you could easily get decent crystals at the same price at a well-known crystal shop and then a lot of you guys are probably going to ask me okay well i don't want to get my crystals off wish where should i get them i have a video of my top 10 
your favorite crystal shops that I will link up above and the description box down below. I also have a crystal shop where I sell all of these same crystals at a much higher quality. And when you are paying a well-established crystal shop, you are paying for quality. That's why the crystals are higher priced. You're paying for somebody to curate an assortment of high quality crystals for you. So that is the end of this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the insights. I mean, you can buy crystals off Wish, but you're probably not gonna get the greatest quality and you could risk getting a fake and you don't know the traceability of this crystal. You have no idea where it's from, no idea what happened to it or the history of it. So again, another downside of buying off Wish. So if you guys want me to do another one of these videos with AliExpress or Amazon, let me know in the comment sections down below. I did do one with Shein. I will link up above and in the description box down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below for more crystals and witchy content. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye. And before I go, a special thank you to all of my patrons. You keep this channel alive and running. If you're interested in joining my Patreon, I will leave a link in the description box down below. This is a great way to show support to the channel. Or if you're looking for additional business advice, I offer this as well. So I look forward to seeing you on my Patreon.